20 craziest photos taken in Israel. Number 20. Park your camel here. Israel is a controversial state in the Middle East, but that doesn't mean they can't take a good laugh at some of the crazy stuff that goes on here. In Israel, not everyone has adopted automobiles as their mode of transportation, but some traditional people have adopted camels. Whoever could park their camel like this right between the lines will certainly pass their camel's driver test with ease. You don't need gasoline or oil to keep this machine going. Just the occasional bowl of water will do. Number 19. Mikwa? We understand this is a McDonald's, but how do you pronounce it in Hebrew? Whatever it is exactly, it does appear to be kosher at least. The regulations of kosher appear to forbid certain animals, including pork, camels, birds of prey, and bats. Do people really used to eat bats in Israel? Either way, you will most likely not be getting a bacon cheeseburger here. Number 18. Rabbi Crossing Everyone look both ways before you speed through that intersection. A rabbi and his family could be crossing the street, and you really don't want to hit this guy. This sign is placed outside a temple in Israel to remind motorists to be cautious. Number 17. Blue Man Protester We all know that Palestinians would like to become their own nation, and sometimes protests will break out. This photo here, though, shows that sometimes the protests can be a little bit bizarre. These five protesters we see in the photo are all decked out in blue, and they're meant to represent the Navis from Avatar along Israel's separation border. It's unclear exactly what the connection is with blue aliens from a movie and Palestinian independence is, but we're sure it's meaningful. Number 16. Sprite Showers we're not trying to advertise Sprite or anything, but you have to admit this shower on the beach in Israel is pretty cool. Shaped like a soda dispenser, we hope it doesn't get beachgoers sandy and sticky. That would just be a nightmare. Number 15. Scrolling at the Dead Sea Dang, this place is saltier than that ex-girlfriend you broke up with on Valentine's Day. The lake bordering Jordan and Israel is known as the Dead Sea, and it has the lowest elevation on land in the world at negative 1,388 feet. It has a 33.7 salinity percentage, and this allows for people to float on the water with ease. It's so easy to float that this guy is scrolling through his journal without a care in the world that it might get wet. Number 14. Salt Cube Phenomenon This salty lake produces some mysterious things such as these salt crystals that formed in perfect cubes. Sodium chloride naturally takes the shape of cubes down to its molecular level. But since the environment at the Dead Sea is so perfect for creating salt, these salt cubes become giant, and it's pretty crazy. Number 13. Spidey Senses Turns out Spider-Man's spidey senses were tingling and telling him to go pray at the Wailing Wall, located in Jerusalem. But he certainly can't reveal his true identity, no matter how serious the situation is. He's hoping that the power of Moses will be exactly what he needs before engaging in all-out battle with the next supervillain. So watch out. Number 12. Caught Between the Two Hmm, it seems like this guy is in a little bit of an awkward situation, and hopefully the soldier will be able to keep the peace. Number 11. The chase is on. Not sure exactly what he got caught doing, but the chase is on at the Wailing Wall. He's really trying to run as fast as possible, but still hoping his hat won't fall off. Whatever the case is, it's clear that this guy is a straight-up thug and has no respect for the law. Number 10. Mini Santa Clauses. It's Christmas time in Israel, and you know what that means, Hanukkah. This means eight nights of presents, and if you're a kid, you probably enjoy this time of year. His wife got him a new kid each day dressed up as Santa Claus, and on the last day, he's hoping it'll stop. They seem to be a little bit confused on which holiday they want to celebrate, but the kids are hoping to get much more presents on Christmas in one day than the eight nights of Hanukkah. Number 9. Israeli Military Girls Here's the photos you've been waiting for. Now here's a country with gender equality, especially when it comes to military action. Since Israel is basically surrounded by enemies on each border, it's necessary for them to have a strong military, and 65% of women in Israel do serve their country at some point. This consists of 24 months of service unless the woman is married, has kids, or for religious reasons. And from what we've seen so far, they seem to be pretty good looking. Here in this photo, we see four Israeli defense girls getting out of the shower and ready to kick butt. Number 8. Bazooka Time Women in the Israeli Defense Forces are allowed to have up to 96% of the same roles as men can in the military. This woman here appears to be holding on to a giant anti-tank weapon, and we imagine she knows how to use it. Some heavy weaponry isn't going to stop this woman from learning how to use this bazooka. With the possibility of war breaking out in the Holy Land at any moment, these girls are daring you to make a move. Number 7. Machine Gun Mayhem 
After Israel was recognized as a nation in 1948, most women who served in the military were medics, communication specialists, weapons transporters, and even at anti-aircraft posts. Women filled roles up quickly, especially after men suffered heavy losses on the front lines. This woman is ready to be placed on the front lines if asked to do so and properly trained for full-blown contact and looking quite good while on guard. Number 6. Guns Everywhere the military is comprised of 50% females and 50% males. The Israeli defenses are very strict about their rules. Weapons cannot simply be left at home and trying to leave a standard issue weapon at the armory proves to be a very complicated process, so they bring them wherever they go. This woman has the right to bear arms, and even a night out on the town, she decided to bring her baby with her, or an M4 carbine rifle to the local bar. Number 5. Only in Israel this country, located on the Mediterranean Sea, is home to some beautiful beaches and are a great place to enjoy the stunning views, and views of this too. When going to the beach, don't forget to bring your sunglasses, some sunscreen, a towel, and your automatic rifle. These women in the bikinis are enjoying their day at the beach in Haifa and properly brought their rifles. People will get charged with crimes if something happens to their guns. People in Israel are quite used to seeing this, but other people on vacation might not be. Number 4. Getting Weird no matter where you go or how you decide to dress up, you will have to bring your rifle with you at all times. Doesn't matter how weird things are about to get, you gotta bring it. This guy in the photo has no choice, and even though he's dressed up in a tutu with high heels, he must really be hoping a war doesn't break out wearing those things. Number 3. Nation of Militarization Possibly since they know that some kids will be joining the military, some parents, like we see in this photo, don't really mind getting them familiar with equipment they may have to use someday on the battlefield. This image was captured on display that marked Israel's 66th Independence Day. Number 2. Grenade Fight As a kid growing up, you might have played with some water balloons and pretended like they were hand grenades, but in Israel growing up, you might get the real grenades like we see in this photo. The little boy gets a legit military vest and a mock hand grenade during the Independence Day celebration on the West Bank. Number 1. Israeli Flower Gardens Whether you consider yourself a Palestinian or an Israeli, you have to admit that it's a wonderful stretch of land with many unique cultures coming together with some crazy things popping up every now and then. This historically rich religious land can be big enough for anyone to live on and peace needs to be found in order to preserve Israel's natural beauty. Here we see some of the amazing flower gardens found in Israel with a father enjoying the breathtaking views of the landscape with his family. You might think it's the Netherlands at first glance, but it's in the land where 8 million people call home, known as Israel. Hey guys, thanks for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos every day.